Hey guys, what's up? This past week, uh, some friends of mine that I knew back in middle school in Germany, they had came over to Augusta to come visit uh, another friend I knew named Jocelyn, and we all met up and hung out this week. And um, I made a video on our trip to Six Flags, and then the barbecue we had the next day. So, hope you guys enjoy. So right now we're at the gas station first. We gotta get some gas before we head out on the trip and then we'll be good to go. It's a two and a half hour trip though, so hopefully it'll go by pretty fast. Yeah, I'm restless, so give me something to do. Yeah, I can't stay here because I need to dance. Jump, jump around and show them how I move. So right now we're waiting on the girls to use the bathroom, but we put on our sunscreen, making sure we're good to go, trying to figure out what ride we're going to ride first. So right now we kind of encountered a problem. Uh, we got a bag, we can't bring it on the ride, so we need to find out how much it costs for the uh, the locker to put our bags in. That's what we're trying to do right now before we can get on the ride. I'm only able to bring this because it's a fanny pack, it's small, it can fit in the ride. So now we gotta go back because we don't know how this locker thing works, so we're just gonna put the bag back in the car and just resort to using our fanny packs. recommend uh, if you're going to an amusement park bring a fanny pack it's way easier now we're headed back to the uh, park now we have everything situated now we can start the day so after that whole fiasco Michael what you about to start bringing a fanny pack yeah oh yeah all right I guess we're taking a picture right now we took their picture now they about to take our picture it's kind of like a trade-off to ride the scorcher the line is pretty long though never mind i take it back the line is not that long it just looked like it yo you have to stand in this ride i was not ready for that the first ride it's like where you have to stand up and you strap you in while you're standing up it was upside down sideways all around whoa that was like my first roller coaster in years yeah i'm going People trying to kill me. Daredevil dive coaster? Yep. That's the dive. Everybody will be on me. I was in the front seat. I feel like I was gonna fly out too. It was perfect. I really like that ride. Went around like the whole park and it was like this drop where you went over the water and stuff. It was pretty fun. Now that sounds real nice right now. So they're gonna ride the Joker. Um, I'm not riding it because it goes, it spins around, and then at the top they stop for like 10 seconds. Nope, not for me. I'm actually pretty thirsty and hungry. Uh, I'm gonna go try and find something to snack on and drink while I wait for them on this ride. Found something to eat. 
turns out it was a place for alcohol, so I need to find a new place to go eat and drink. I found a little gift shop, man. Luckily, they got drinks, so I'm gonna get me some. Uh, uh, can I just get a water? I can't believe this. 582. 582 for a water bottle. Let me see if they got some good stuff. Ended up finding a nice little pretzel to eat. Perfect little snack. And just letting y'all know, that pretzel was $6.99. I mean, it was good, but $6.99. I got a feeling I'm gonna crash some stupid party. Tear the ceiling down in front of everybody. Someone's pulling up the... That ride got me so dizzy. I've never been that dizzy before. Drink a call it shiny. Accident way to They like to walk fast. I'm all the way back here playing catch up. They are like sprinting to every attraction. Woo! <laughs> they want to be in the video. There they are. Thought I lost them. So they want to ride the Pandemonium. It's the newest ride for 2019 at Six Flags, Georgia. And I'm seeing this one out. <laughs> Definitely no. I was thinking about riding the go-karts while I wait, but $8 extra? Nah. <laughs> So now we're going back to the car to have like a little lunch break, you know, sit down for a little bit. There you go. So we ate and got some liquids in our body, and now it's time to head back to the park. Mike, what's your favorite ride so far? Probably the Goliath one. Goliath? What's yours, Eddie? Oh, yeah. Probably. Yeah. I like the one we just did. The, the drop one? Not the, the drop, drop one, one, the one before that. Oh, the cyclone. It's the cyclone. Yeah. The cyclone. 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 What's your favorite? The tube is going to be my favorite. The tube? Oh, what's your favorite? High Romy? It's the aggressive one. The cyclone that we yeah. just did? The cyclone. Oh, yeah. We still got the Superman, though. Yeah, we still got the Superman. I'm, I'm waiting to do that one. So I messed up. I led us to a kiddie ride. I thought it was a mine roller coaster, and it turned out to be a little kiddie roller coaster. Hi Romy. <laughs> river cat, thunder cat, whatever it's called. We got Thunder River. Thunder River. We got thunder soaking wet on this Thunder River. My shoes are gone. What you think about the Superman? It was good. That's my favorite ride. We're about to hit up the last ride, and then we headed out. All right. All right. So the trip was successful. All right. So the trip was successful. Uh, everything went smoothly. We all had fun. It was a great time. Those nine hours flew by fast. We got here at like 11:30. And we ain't leaving until about 8.30. So it was about nine hours, but definitely worth it. But on the way home, we need to stop somewhere because your boy is hungry. So we stopped at a McDonald's along the way. I was hungry, Mike needed gas, so it was a perfect little time to stop. 
Today was a long day, but about to get my car and head back to the house. Finally home. So yesterday went really well. Um, the main thing I can attribute to it is the fact that we had really good planning. Um, the whole trip was planned the day before and all we did was go there and execute the plan. I mean, literally it was like we had a plan of when we were gonna get there, how we were gonna go about it, when we took our break to eat and drink and then get back at it and how we were gonna get back home and it all worked out smoothly. So my tip to you guys is whenever you wanna do something big, make sure you plan it out. There's always gonna be little like, uh, what's you call it, curve balls thrown in there, but it's always better to have a solid plan and you know adjust for those curveballs rather than have no plan to get hit with curveballs on top of that and now i'm headed over to jocelyn's house she's throwing like a little barbecue for uh eddie michael and hiromi before they leave and they invited a couple other guests too so i'm at jocelyn's house um Looks like they had a long night last night because Michael and Eddie are knocked out. Uh, Jocelyn and Hiromi are preparing the food right now. And I'm so Hiromi and Jocelyn were preparing the food and they realized they need some more oil. So I decided I'm going to just go head over to the commissary right quick, get some oil, go pick up my laptop from home as well so I can work on some film editing while they're preparing the food. Michael just started a fire on that little electric uh, grill thing. We had to figure out how to do that. We had opened all the windows. Uh, we were fanning the smoke detector, everything. And then Jocelyn came from downstairs and just easily put like a, a pan lid on top of the fire and it went away. I was like, why didn't we think about that? <laughs> hey guys, I apologize for the lighting. I'm sitting in my car. Uh, getting ready to head home. So that's it for the video. I mean the food was great. We enjoyed the food We all enjoyed each other's company. Um, it was just a great week uh, I wish them the best on their travels. I hope you guys enjoyed the video Like and subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next one